Right, we're going to get all this fencing taken out. I've got a digger to pull it out with a thumb on. Plan is to get the chainsaw out, chop off the rails at the posts there and there and then try and knock off the nails in the middle post so we can save some rails for some repairs on the perimeter fencing which is staying we're only taking out these internal fences so this one that one over there this one here a bit of that over there which you can't see really and that's it really Got a little 1.5 ton machine there to do it should be easy got to fill in the holes make it safe hot today so i don't want the machine to overheat so i've keep an eye on that this is the machine we're using it belongs to my mate we just towed it up here that's the thing we're interested in that's the thumb there Take these pins out drop it down there's three positions it can go in then you bring the bucket up to that thumb and you can basically grab all the stuff pull it move it around really easy to be honest dig is not just for digging there's loads of other purposes they can be used for it's a 2009 i think it is i just looked at the tag good machine it's got nice wide tracks on it but it's not a bad old bus this one we used it before Good machine I would like to get one myself we were going to take this fence out here but I think it's staying now we've put that new gate in there with some oak posts which is nice but this could all be changing this section the fence in here this is staying but that gate there we're moving it over to here because there's a tree straight as you go in that gate where it is at the moment it's in the wrong place so we're going to move that gate to there that's one little job we've got to do nice tree house just gone up there look look at that bad boy this is well cool isn't it look at this even got a zip line coming off there look There was horses here before, but the new owners aren't having any horses, so they want to open this up to a bigger area, like a little park area. All these stones here, they all but got come out. This is coming out, this little bit here in front of me, this gate's all coming out. They're going to keep these stones, but only because that's that school's there. But that's not going to stay. That's probably going to end up being something else. Maybe an AstroTurf, something like that. Might even just dig it out. Top soil it and turf it. So we'll pop these stones over there next to the barn. Tidy this up. Level off a bit. A couple of stumps we want to get out. One there. Right, there's a pair of that. That'll just fall out. This is that gate I was talking about. Got to move it to the right hand side. So look, you go straight through that tree, straight in your way, look. No good. That tree's only about 10 feet away from the gate, so you hard, it's, it's hard work getting in and out there with machines, tractors, gators, vans. Especially with all the work that's probably going to go on over there. We need better access. And this little spot here used to be a chicken coop. We're going to level this off stump at the far side there we got to pull out and then we're going to topsoil and turf this bit as well i think oh, i'll take that gate out there that gate there's got to go we'll just replace that with a bit of fencing now they're out of the way got to change this bucket over i've already taken this grading bucket off i'm going to pop on this little one little eight inch bucket i think 
move that thumb down and then we can use it to pull out these posts rings are in So just pulling them out, you can see on that video there, on that time lapse, how easy that was with the right machine. So we're just loading that up now, bending the nails over. These posts are apparently 40 years old, but I don't really believe it because that's they are softwood, they're not hardwood. That's the bottom that's been on the ground. And that, that isn't that isn't that bad. It's still pretty solid. So these are going to be reused for something. I'm not sure what, but we're going to stack them up, denail them. We'll whip this lot out of the fire now. 
all the stuff that can't be used we're going to burn there you go look we're going to stack it up here posts on there a couple on the ground keep the others off the ground rails there again three rails on the ground keep the others off the ground digging this tree stump out it probably doesn't look it on camera but it's quite a big stump this digger's not quite man enough really for this sort of job it's um, a little bit underpowered but we're not pushing it too hard we're just taking it easy just chipping away at the edges digging around the stump looking for the the bigger roots breaking them away it's pretty rotten so it shouldn't it shouldn't be um, too difficult to get out but we've been on it for about half an hour now and probably about another half an hour to get it right out and then 15 minutes tidying up it's gone now filled it in leveled it off I'll pick up these bits of uh, root and twig in a minute that's a little bit that's left. The rest of it's gone on the fire. It was quite hard getting out, to be honest, with this machine. But um, it's gone now. It's job done. Looks like he's got the bit between his teeth now, and look. All gone. Got the crash out on just in case he bangs his head. Easy pulling them out. Our bit's picking them up. Oh, she was in there. Toothpick for Russell, that. That first lot of fencing now it was all gone and we've filled in the holes. 
grass has been cut down the middle, all the foliage, and that's all done. Now we're doing this section over here. We're going to try and do it all in one run. So starting at the top there, working all the way down. Probably take us about two hours. So we'll cut all the posts that we did on the other one. Pull it out. That's it. Yeah, get it revved up. Yeah, yeah, rev it up. Get it revved up, mate. Get it revved up. Let's fire up them. done now about halfway down probably a bit more than halfway to be honest pull this one out get that one gone keep going what we got not too many more to go now get the deck down that do about there fire it up
and that's another stump out while I'm waiting for the fire to burn down a bit. It's on there already, look. That's the kitty that got it out. Probably doesn't look it on camera, but that was probably a big, probably two foot tree, at least. I think it's a holly, that one. Well, I've got some bits here. That's for the digger. That's for the trailer, because it's missing one. Keeps the back door up. Our pins and some clips and some washers. So let's have a look. I'm on my own today. So I'll just plod on, do what I can on my own. Any two man jobs, I'll just um, leave until tomorrow. Right, so this is the trailer for the digger. That's for the digger. So this is for the trailer. It's got one on there now, but this side's missing. Annoyingly, this doesn't fit. That's too small on there. So either get another one of these, which I probably can't be harder. Probably just get change that for a bigger one. I think it's an M14. That's an M10 on there at the moment. But that would go on there if it was the right size, and that would be nice to have that a bit safer because it's only got one at the moment. It is solid though. This gate here still needs to be done. Move this gate over to the right there where the trailer is so that tree's not. This chicken coop area has been done. Got the bits of concrete out. Stumps out. There was a stump here. That's been dug out and leveled off. And I think those trees there are coming out as well, or is it just this holly that's come out? I think maybe, I'm not sure if it's a holly and these trees, I can't remember. But this bit here is nearly finished now. And look, someone's dogs are in the park up there. Don't know where they've come from. They're not from here. Oh, so they're just walking through the woods there. There is a public footpath through the woods there on the edge of this property, but you're not supposed to be um, right on the property, but sometimes it does happen and dogs just run in. doesn't really matter too much. There's no one here. No one here today anyway. So that fence over there is gone. Just got to cut that bit of grass down the middle there where you wouldn't, couldn't get to it before because of the fence line. That one there is done. That huge stump there, that's been dug out, that's gone now. There is another one there, but I'll leave that to last. If we got time, we'll do it. If we haven't, we won't do it. That's not on the quote anyway. That was just an extra I was going to do while I was here with a digger. And that looks nice. Quite like it opened up like this. Well, let's get this fired up then. Day three. going to be 30 degrees today so I might actually jump in that pool get that warmed up let's get all this kit warmed up get her Cold start. Get the tratter out. Old machine this, but it's bloody good. There's the key there, is there. With the plugs of glow. Go. 
goes. That's the bottom gate finish now. Yup! See so that top hinge there, I've put on upside down. So you can't just whip this gate off without unbolt. You could unbolt it, but you can't just whip the gate off now like some of the other ones. This is on the main road here, so that's got to be secure. There's a chain on it there, just temporary. It's not big enough. I need to get a bigger chain, but that's locked up good enough for now. And all that rubbish on the other side there we'll take when we come around in the van. Morning then, this is day four. I'm gonna do this gate now. I've just pulled out the keep with the digger on that post there. Just undone the, the gate, just lifted it off the hinges. 
should really have one of those the other way up so you can't just lift the gate up but this is a, you know inside the property it's not a security gate it's not on the edge of the boundary or anything like that so i'm going to move this gate now from there to there we've already put this section in here cut out of there moved the whole lot in one done the repair both sides that's filled the gap where the gate was I've taken the gate off this post hinged it on that post it now goes the other way and goes up to this point here we just need to put a post on there and then this is job done I've done this quite quickly which is good well that's out now that's where the gate was so we've just taken that section of fencing out from from there put it in there and now the gate's in a much better spot and when you come through the gate now you've got a clear run straight up there you've reused the timber and we've only put in a couple new bits but it's job done for not a lot of money Wait. Right, my lift's arrived, so I'm off now. Well, I was just going to show you all the jobs that we finished now here. So, this gate here was renewed with the posts. This is the field that we've taken all the fencing out. So, right down there. Also, all the way along there. So that fencing along that little path there with the gravel, that's gone. Stumps out. All that fence along there is gone. Looks much nicer, all opened up. I'm not sure what order I'm filming these in, but these are all jobs that we've done here. There's a load of fencing up the back up there which we've done as well I'll just take a photo of that because I can't bother to walk all the way over there this gate here this one's been changed it's all new get that closed up one's all done just left that old post in there this is only temporary anyway this is all probably coming out and being changed but just once it moves so it's not in the very that tree much better this chicken coop area is all being cleaned off raked off graded out concrete pulled out that gate's gone put some rails in there and a bit of chicken wire again this is all coming out I think at a later stage but at least it's sealed off for now keep the dogs in the right place